Ladies and gentlemen, according to a Gartner survey, 58% of the workforce requires new skills in order to accomplish their jobs. It's critical for BPOs to upskill and reskill their staff as they automate their operations and embrace technology to its full potential. In this workshop titled, Staying Relevant to the Ecosystem, Upskilling Employees to be Agile, we will concentrate on the skilling trends that distinguish personnel of this industry. And to guide us for the same, we have our speaker, Alan Winters, Chief People Officer, Teleperformance. So welcome, Alan, and over to you. Hello, my name is Alan Winters, and I am the Chief People Officer for Teleperformance Group. We're the largest BPO company in the industry with now almost 400,000 people around the world. And I'm very excited to be speaking today um, with the Economic Times BPO Summit um, about transformation within HR. So globally, we witness more disruption within the next five years than we have in the past two decades. And it's been accelerated considerably by the pandemic that we are still living through today. Until recently, we, had fully, we hadn't fully imagined what was waiting for us just around the corner. All the same, collective forces and new business pressures are challenging the dominance of human touch over technology while reinforcing the need for a framework that works in the interest of all stakeholders. Businesses are now frantically trying to reform their working models and processes. Gone are the days where we're tied to a brick and mortar structure that promotes only incremental change against radical transformation. Imagination, creativity, and curiosity are fundamental pillars to disruption and innovation. And this must be a key strategy for any people manager or people management function. Thankfully at Teleperformance, we've been ahead of the curve on this. Pre-pandemic, we've been working with a core set of technologies that, we, that have allowed us and will continue to allow us to pivot quickly and ride the wave ahead of the pack. These technologies are built on a core strategy we call high tech and high touch. And this is a delicate balance enhancing the human touch need in HR and delivering core services. How does our workforce fit within this redefined business model that we're seeing years ago uh, before the pandemic? And now we find don't move, don't work in this new normal. This is a challenge for many companies. And this is this journey has no destination. It is a journey and we will can be continuing facing this transformation challenge over the years to come. Remote working versus hybrid versus brick and mortar. This is a key challenge for many companies today. At Teleperformance during the pandemic, we moved over 80% of our workforce globally to work at home. That's over 350,000 people that we moved to a work at home state. We believe in the long term in the post pandemic world, we'll see a considerable number of our people in most companies, uh, frontline staff to be work at home. And our strategy is approximately 50% of our frontline people will stay at home and over 70% of our management team will stay at home. And what does this really mean in, in the new world? This means upskilling our workforce and engaging new talent, it will be critical and is a, a considerable change to how we've managed before. Or another way to think about it, managing in a brick and mortar function is very, very different than managing in a remote or hybrid environment. And that impacts how we train, how we hire, how we coach, motivate and engage our people. And this will be a main focus of most HR organizations, including teleperformances function. As forerunners in the space of innovation and technology, we are upskilling our employees, not just for new challenges, but also to live and breathe agility. And agility is key in this new world. What, <coughs> what may have been obvious solutions today may not be obvious tomorrow, or what we like to say, what was fast yesterday is slow today. And so this transformation strategies need to keep up with the changing environment. Our cloud campus technology suite gives us an advantage as enable us to 
integrate our high touch collaboration across the entire employee life cycle, truly engaging our people in the new remote world we find ourselves in. Our key focus is setting goals for long-term transformation, supported by strategic agility and building a workforce ecosystem that backs this vision. And that is fundamental. You, our people have to be integrated into our vision and mission. We continue to stay relevant in the ecosystem by aligning our mission strategies and targets, being consistent in the yet, and yet allows us to be agile in this new world. Our people are the heart of what we do and we truly believe this. And with this global diverse and highly skilled workforce, we have complete faith in our people that have been consistently delivering exceptional business results, especially during the pandemic. We continually develop new tools and processes to work in a remote or hybrid environment with our cloud campus suite of technologies this incorporates our learning management tools that enable us to upskill our people on the fly with gamified content, self-paced curriculum, instructor-led remote training to real-time coaching to drive performance. Also, it's key to incorporate the strategies of mental health and well-being into the process. Working in a remote environment is very different than working in a brick and mortar site and how you manage your people is very different in that environment. I could continue to speak about this topic for, for hours and is the key, is a key strategy for teleperformance and for me. And frankly, this is what keeps me up at night, making sure our people are cared for and that we provide them the tools to be successful in this new world of hyper transformation. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the time speaking with you today and I hope you found my comments insightful. Thank you.